Ever wondered what makes your electric toothbrush buzz or your remote-controlled car zip around? The answer is the DC motor. These tiny powerhouses are hidden inside countless gadgets we use every day, quietly turning electricity into motion. From the vibration in your phone to the motor in your cordless drill, DC motors are everywhere, making our lives easier and more automated. The DC stands for direct current, the kind of electricity you get from a battery, a DC motor transforms this steady electrical energy into spinning motion using the relationship between electricity and magnetism. Whether it's a tiny motor in a medical device or a large one in a conveyor belt, the same basic principles apply. Their simplicity and versatility make them a favorite for engineers and inventors. If it's battery powered and moves, there's probably a DC motor inside. You can even build a simple one yourself with just a battery, a magnet and a coil of wire. So how does this little machine work its magic? Let's dive in and find out. To understand how a DC motor spins, we need to meet the Lorentz force, the secret handshake between electricity and magnetism. When electricity flows through a wire, it creates a magnetic field around it. Place that wire near a magnet and the two magnetic fields interact, creating a push or pull on the wire. This push is the Lorentz force in action, the fundamental principle behind every DC motor. The direction of this force depends on the direction of the current and the magnetic field. Change either and you change the direction of the force. To remember this, use the left hand rule, index finger for magnetic field, middle finger for current, thumb for force. This simple rule predicts how the wire will move. Harnessing this predictable push is how we make motors spin. That's the magic at the heart of every DC motor. Now let's turn that push into rotation. Instead of a straight wire, bend it into a loop and place it in a magnetic field. Connect a battery so current flows down one side and up the other. The left hand rule tells us one side gets pushed up, the other down, creating torque that makes the loop spin. But as the loop turns vertical, the forces stop making it spin and start pulling it apart. To keep it spinning, we need to reverse the current every half turn. If we flip the current at just the right moment, the torque keeps pushing the loop around. This clever switching is what turns a simple loop into a continuously spinning motor. Without it, the motor would just rock back and forth the solution. An automatic way to reverse the current. That's the secret to smooth, continuous motion. Next, let's see how the motor does this on its own. A DC motor's magic comes from a few key parts working together. The stator is the stationary part, usually made of permanent magnets, creating a steady magnetic field. The rotor, or armature, is the spinning part at the center, packed with coils of wire around an iron core for strong torque. The commutator is the genius switch, a split copper ring attached to the rotor's shaft. As the rotor spins, the commutator reverses the current in the coils every half turn, keeping the torque going in the same direction. Brushes, small blocks of carbon, press against the commutator, delivering electricity from the battery to the spinning coils. The power supply, like a battery, provides the direct current. Electricity flows from the battery, through the brushes, into the commutator and through the armature coils. These parts work in harmony to turn electrical energy into smooth, continuous rotation. The commutator and brushes are the bridge between the stationary and spinning worlds. That's how a DC motor keeps spinning without stopping. Now let's follow the journey of electricity through the motor. When you connect a battery, current flows from the positive terminal to a brush, then into the commutator and armature coil. The coil becomes an electromagnet, sitting inside the stator's magnetic field. The interaction creates torque, spinning the rotor and its shaft. As the rotor turns, the commutator rotates too. Just as the torque would drop, the commutator switches the current direction in the coil. This reversal gives another kick, keeping the rotation smooth and continuous. That's how electricity becomes motion in a DC motor. The commutator is the unsung hero of the DC motor. It's a split ring that reverses the current in the armature coil every half turn. As the rotor spins, the brushes stay put, while the commutator rotates, swapping connections at just the right moment. This keeps the torque pushing in the same direction so the motor doesn't stall or reverse. 
In real motors, there are many coils and commutator segments making the rotation smooth and steady. Each coil gets energized in sequence, so there's always a push at the right spot. The result? A continuous, reliable spin instead of a jerky motion. The commutator's simple switching is what makes DC motors so effective. It's a mechanical solution to an electrical problem. That's why the classic DC motor is still used everywhere. Next, let's look at the different types of DC motors. Not all DC motors are the same. There are brushed and brushless types. Brushed motors use carbon brushes and a commutator, making them simple and cheap, but the brushes wear out over time. Brushless motors flip the design magnet's spin, coils stay still, and an electronic controller switches the current. This makes them quieter, more efficient, and longer lasting. Among brushed motors, wiring can vary. Series wound motors have high starting torque, great for car starters. Shunt wound motors offer stable speed, perfect for machines needing consistency. Compound wound motors combine both for a balance of torque and speed control. Each type is chosen for its strengths, power, speed or reliability. That's why DC motors are found in everything from toys to industrial machines. Now let's see how we control their speed and direction. Controlling a DC motor is easy and powerful. Speed depends on voltage, more voltage, faster spin, less voltage, slower spin. To reverse direction, just swap the positive and negative wires. Current flows the other way and the motor spins in reverse. For efficient speed control, we use pulse width modulation, PWM. PWM rapidly switches the power on and off, controlling speed by adjusting how long the power is on versus off, the duty cycle. A higher duty cycle means faster speed, a lower one means slower. The motor's inertia smooths out the pulses so it feels like steady power. PWM is energy efficient and precise, used in everything from drones to robots. This simple control makes DC motors incredibly versatile, that's how we get precise motion from a simple motor. The DC motor is a marvel of simple science and clever engineering. Electricity and magnetism work together to create motion, thanks to a few key parts, stator, armature, commutator and brushes. The commutator's switching keeps the rotor spinning smoothly, turning invisible energy into real-world movement. From tiny gadgets to electric vehicles, the same principles apply. It's a testament to human ingenuity, simple parts, powerful results. Next time you hear a motor whir, remember the science inside. Understanding DC motors unlocks a key piece of modern technology, what will you build with this knowledge?